Well, Scottish democracy is not the property of a UK Prime Minister, uh, and nor is it the property of a UK Prime Minister that Scotland doesn't and wouldn't have voted for. Uh, now, we're obviously uh, at the moment uh, looking ahead to the Supreme Court hearing, which will look at the ability of the Scottish Parliament to legislate for a referendum uh, without the consent of the UK government. So we will see uh, what the outcome of that is. I hope it's a positive outcome. But one thing is clear, and it's a democratic principle here. The future of Scotland will be decided by the people of Scotland. It will not be decided by Liz Truss uh, any more uh, than it would have been decided by uh, Boris Johnson before her. It's for Scotland to decide whether it wants to be independent or not. And now Boris Johnson's off. What's your message to him? And uh, do you think he's failed Scotland? And if so, why? Boris Johnson has failed the UK. I mean, I you know, wish him well and wish his family well as he departs office. But I don't think many people in Scotland are going to be sorry to see him leave the office of Prime Minister. He perhaps has been the worst Prime Minister in our lifetimes. Uh, he had a massive mandate, uh, not in Scotland, uh, but in the rest of the UK, and has squandered it, and squandered it because he hasn't had the application or the commitment or the uh, done the work to deliver in the way that people would have expected him to. Now, Scotland never voted for him, uh, but I think many people across the UK will think that he has let down the UK and let down uh, and perhaps in some ways uh, tarnished the office of Prime Minister.